Mm-hmm. Calling out to him when we don't know where he is. That's always the best solution. <sighs> Game logic. <clears throat> Dude, where is he? Man, just because he dresses in black, they put him in the black space? Huh? Hey, that's Little Squall. Huh. <laughs> Damn. Indignant as he ever was. Or as determined, really. Not indignant. I don't even remember. What does indignant mean, viewers? Matron? That would mean we're at... Yeah, we're at the orphanage. Weird. Not gonna lie. Hope not. What the? No way. We killed her. No. The fight's over. <clears throat> <laughs> Why? Wait, why? Why don't we need to fight anymore? I mean, we have drawn our gunblade that looks like our original and not like the one we use. Oh. Okay. You are. Oh, yeah. This, this is in the past. Hmm. Makes sense to me. Give up your powers and disappear. Dude. It's over. Ultimicia is gone. Yeah. Right? She's not gonna like use... Nah, she, she turned into purple smoke. <clears throat> Gotta be over. Don't tell me. No. No. No! No! No, no, no! Damn it, Squall. <laughs> Why? You mean that Squall was in the past and told Ida about Garden and that it was her idea and then she went and told Sid to do it and Sid- No! So Squall is the reason for his own purpose in life. What the hell? Game? No. I'm sure if he knew that back on, like, disc one or two, he'd be like, fuck. Let Diablos kill me or something. You know, before he really gave a shit. Give away the guy's name when, she si when you just said, you don't need to know. What the heck? He'd better know where to go. I mean, he's from the future. What's gonna happen? Whoa. That's pretty creepy. Ugh. I'm kinda sick today. You're not alone? Cool beans. They will? Okay. Aren't they already back in the present? Ugh. All right. Co no, you're not alone. Gosh, you just said that you're not. 
Duders. Follow the Eastern Sun. Or not. Something like that. I don't know. The squall I know how you shouldn't do. You should stay away from the summoner. That whole sentence didn't make any sense. The whole thing was like a giant multi-negative crap. <laughs> Things are gonna get trippy. So if logic stops happening, please don't hesitate to not blame me. And he's in the middle of the desert, suddenly. Where the sky looks like... I don't know what it looks like. Kinda reminds me of a weird looking green jello, but it's more like a liquid than a jello. This jello is its own state of matter. For the record, of course. <laughs> Of course, walking around it instead of just staying put, hoping something will come to save you, is of course the best solution, comrade. But, and it seems like he's getting tired with that, with those kind of steps, or maybe they just, yeah, there we go. The tired hobble. Just, like, fall on your face and rest for a while. I mean, you're in the desert. You're not going anywhere. Though it looks like it's going to rain there. It really does. He reached the edge of... What? Huh? Wait, what does this mean? He's on an island. Doesn't look like there's any polar bears or smoke monsters, so... Eh, could be worse. Oh no. He sat down. Rule number one of surviving. You do not sit down. And Renoa. Oh man, it, it's totally Renoa. Looking for, I guess, Squall. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just really confused. <clears throat> How do you end up in the desert during the rainy season? And there's a feather floating from the pudding that somehow stays above him without killing him by crushing him. Oh man, it, it has begun. First time I saw it, I actually thought he called her name, like with sound. It's obvious that that's what he's doing, but what the? Huh? She's super fuzzy. No. What the? The. Huh? Wait, wait, what's going on, guys? 